Hello, you boy in the corner there. You ought to be a boy scout. You're a fine-looking fellow, and I know you would make a jolly good backwoodsman by the look of you. Well, scouting's important to me because it provides a a structured program that is fun, done in a safe way, and is challenging for youth today. It provides opportunities to many kids that they, they won't have otherwise. And, and so do it, by doing that and using the outdoors, it, it's a great advantage, just as a natural barrier breakdown. And the kids really uh, learn the skills to develop uh, leadership practice, you know, practice in everyday life. Uh, scouting is important to me because it helped to shape who I am today. I started scouting when I was in first or second grade, and um, I tried to live my life uh, upholding the ideals of the scout oath and law. And so it, it's a huge part of my life. Scouting is important to me because it gives uh, an opportunity uh, to see young scouts really, really uh, shine. Um, through my involvement in uh, Bristlecone NYLT, I have seen um, youth that have come in very shy and not um, having a leadership experience, and through that one week of training have come out amazing, amazing people, um, the kind of kids that you want your children to be. Scouting has changed my life because Watching and working and enjoying the company of all the other scouters has inspired me and challenged me and encouraged me to do the best I can. Scouting has helped me personally by helping me come out of my shell to be more confident in myself. Five years ago, I never would have imagined myself standing up in front of a group of people and asking them to, uh, to, to donate either some of their time, their treasure, their talent. Um, five years ago, I never would have imagined I'd be leading a bunch of scouters, longtime scouters, when, when I myself can barely even tie a square knot. Um, it's, it's made me a, a much more stronger, much more confident person in myself. Oh, scouting has really made a major impact on my life because it brought me to another family. A family of wonderful people, a lot of role models and inspirational people. And you know how the saying says, who, you're, who you hang around with really influence you. So with, uh, with this new family, I see there are so many wonderful people. And it just brings optimism, optimism to, the, um, you know, to the world at large. First, the first time scouting changed my life was I was on a 50-mile hike in the Sierras. I was 13 years old. We were going over Colby Pass. It was more than 10,000 feet. I looked down, saw the lake where I was staying at the night, <clears throat> sorry, the night before, and, um, and I was amazed. And then I looked around at the uh, Sierras on both sides and north and south, and um, I was in awe. And I, I, I think I had an epiphany that uh, the creation was so great, so amazing, and I felt like I had, uh, I was sitting on the shoulder of God, you know, and being able to, even though I was just this little speck in the, uh, in the, in the universe, that still I was privileged to see that, and I was a part of that, so it was something, you know, amazing for a kid at that age, I'll never, I'll never forget that. My most memorable moment in scouting was uh, probably one of the pivotal points in my life, and I didn't even realize it at the time. It's amazing that five minutes can change your whole life. Um, some friends and I were swimming out at a local reservoir uh, between my junior and senior year when one of the uh, other guys that was in our group who was trying to swim out to where we were uh, was struggling. I asked him if he was okay and he said he was going back and immediately slipped under the water. When I got to him and pulled him back to the surface, he was uh, struggling, pulled me under. I remember as I was underwater and breaking away from him, I had just finished my eagle requirements. I just had my border review, just had my scoutmaster's conference and that, and it suddenly occurred to me that this is right out of the life-saving merit badge book. 
I did everything I was supposed to do. I came up behind him. I talked to him, calmed him down, and swam him back into the shore. Do I only get to pick one memorable moment? <laughs> there have been so many. Uh, I think the time I, I've been day camp director for 11 years now, and I think there have been a lot of moments. The time that uh, the physics team came down from UCSC and put me in a Faraday cage and sent 12, no, 2,500 volt, 25,000 volts of electricity through me. And um, it's really boring inside the cage. You don't see anything, but the kids thought it was great. <laughs> uh, the end of day camp one summer when the, one of the kids came up and gave me a big hug, had a wonderful time. I hear from kids, you know, months later, and said, I remember you, you knighted me, you know, the year that we had a medieval theme or the mom who calls me up when school starts and says, you know, you did this thing at day camp and my son took it to school and now his teacher wants to do it with the class. <laughs> my most memorable time in scouting was being a scoutmaster at the 2005 National Jamboree at AP Hill. Having the opportunity to take a troop of 36 youth through the national monuments and parks of the East Coast, learn about history, and then to enjoy Jamboree with 43,000 other attendees was an experience that I will always remember. My most memorable moment in scouting just recently happened. It was watching my son um, accept his Eagle rank advancement at his court of honor. I was so proud to see how mature and confident he had become and I attribute a great deal of that strength and growth in him to the scouting program. I've seen scouting change kids' lives in, in subtle ways and in dramatic ways over the years. I've been in scouts a long time and I've seen all types come through. The most memorable ones have been the ones that benefited the most from the experience, the ones that struggled with personal challenges, social challenges, financial challenges. I think scouting is an important program because it teaches um, young kids, uh, you know, many, many different life skills. I think the process of getting the badges teaches them how to set goals and to achieve those goals and also the skills that it teaches them when they get their badges, ranging from first aid to money management to interviewing adults, um, a lot of day-to-day -day skills that aren't really being taught in the schools. The importance of scouting today is multiplied because there's so many distractions for young people these days. And scouting gives them the core beliefs and the core ethics to be able to make the decisions that need to be made to, to live a good life. There's a lot of distractions nowadays. Um, there's computer games as well as any number of activities. But scouting is the one activity that is focusing on giving boys an opportunity to develop leadership. I mean, not just leadership in, in a small session, but, but it's essentially it's scalable leadership. If, if, they're, uh, if they're good leaders at, at the patrol level, they'll, they'll hone their skills and then work their way up to the, to the troop level. And uh, also teaches them life skills. Um, it, it's really everything they need to do uh, to, to become successful adults and give back to their communities. Um, every night I watch the news and I see all of these things that are happening in the world in our local communities and I, you hear about shootings all the time and, and all of this crime and when I was growing up maybe I wasn't exposed to it as much but I didn't hear about this types of things happening and I think the world has changed not for the better um, at least over the last decade or so. Um, I just see a lot more people getting into trouble. I think the values that scouting instills um, allow you to develop a sense of leadership, a, le a sense of ethics. It allows you to understand things about your community and about the world and about the nation. Thank you all. Good luck to you. And I wish we may meet again. Thank you. <laughs>